Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. So today we're going to talk about some interesting AI tools in Filmora 13. You know that in Filmora 13, there are many AI tools. By the way, not all of them are useful for you. Okay, so in this video, I will cover some useful AI tools in Filmora 13. You may want to know as a beginner. By the way, if you want to try Filmora 13, I will put the link in the description and also my 20% discount coupon code to help you save your money. You want to purchase a license of the software. Okay, so let's go to the first one. Okay, and the first one, which is very interesting in my opinion, is the text to speech and speak to text feature. So with this feature, you can convert your text into voiceover and vice versa. Okay, for example, if you have a talking head video like this and now you want to generate caption, a lot of video, you can use the speak to text option. Of course, your English should be good. Otherwise, it will, it will not understand you, okay? Okay, for example, this is how to use the text-to-speech option. You need to select the video on the timeline, then you can select the language, and then you can just click OK. And now the program will transcribe your your voiceover into text. And you can do the same for the text-to-speech option, and they have the AI translation also. By the way, when using this option in Filmora 13, it will cost AI credit, so you have to purchase it separately. Okay. So that is the first useful AI feature in Filmora 13. And the next one is the Smart Cutout. This feature is very interesting because sometimes when you want to remove the background of your video without using green screen, you can use the Smart Cutout function. For example, now if I want to remove the background of my video, I can use the Smart Cutout and I can also remove the audio here. And of course, I can replace the background of my video easily. Okay, so let me show you how to use the Smart Cutout in Filmora 13. You need to select the video here on the timeline, and then you want to select this option, AI Matting Tools. Okay, and then select this option, Smart Cutout. And now you have the brush here, and maybe you can adjust the brush size. Okay, so after you adjust the brush size, you can draw here at the subject that you want to remove, or you want to keep in your video, sorry. Okay, and for example, I want to keep this microphone and I want to keep me and my hand and my book, stuff like that. Okay, maybe anything that is related to me. Maybe I can also keep this arm also. Okay, and at this point, if I want to erase it, I can select the pen or the eraser here and I can erase it something like this and then we can click this button to toggle transparency grid okay to see okay so we still need to erase something here okay and then we can click this button start smart cutout and now the program will work and remove the background of our video okay and we can click save to go back to our timeline after finishing and here's the final result Right, and we can just add a background here. For example, I can make it like this, and you see it replaced the background of the video. So that's interesting, right? The next one, which is very interesting to me, is the text to video. So if you want to create video for maybe 10 minute video or 15 minute video or stuff like that, all you need to do now is to write a script and then you ask. Filmora 13 to generate a video for you. And now Filmora will use the stock footage inside the program to generate a video for you. And inside the video, it has voiceover, it has background music and special effect, and it has caption and stuff like that. So it is almost 80% of a complete video. It is very interesting to me because maybe I can roll another YouTube channel without showing my face and without even filming like this. So all I need to do is to write a script and then I can ask Filmora to generate a video for me. Okay, so that is the next useful AI tools in Filmora 13. And the next one is the silent detection. So this is the, an own AI tools in Filmora 13. By the way, I think it is very useful, especially for the one who have a very long talking head video like this because the program will help you 
remove the silent, all the silent in your video, okay? It will automatically detect the silent in your video and remove the silent and create cut for your video. It can help you save a lot of time editing your video because you know that normally when we have a YouTube video like this, a talking head video like this, we have to spend maybe two or three hours cutting our videos, removing the silent in our video. For example, you want to use the silent detection in Filmora 13. You want to select the video here on the timeline and then you want to just right click at the video and then you want to select Smart Edit Tools and it has a silent detection option right here. And be mentioned that when using this option, you don't need to use AI credit or it will not cost any AI credit. Okay, just click here, silent detection and then you can just click analyze to analyze the silence in your video something like this and then you can click finish and replace so it will finish and replace the video on the timeline by the way you can just cut do the edit right here you can maybe hide or unhide the silent here also okay and click finish and replace by the way i don't want to do that in my tutorial okay so just click OK okay and the last useful function in Filmora 13 in my opinion is the auto reframe function you know that nowadays many people want to create long form video and want to convert into short form video that's when you need to use the auto reframe function in Filmora 13 with this AI tool you can convert a horizontal landscape video like this into short video and it can also track the subject inside the, the frame. So it is very interesting and very useful for me, in my opinion, okay? And maybe it is not useful for you. If you don't produce short or TikTok video or Instagram video from your long form video. In order to use the auto reframe function in Filmora 13, you want to come back to the home page and then you want to click here, auto reframe. Okay, next up, you can import your video here or drag and drop. So I have a demo video here. I can just drag and drop this demo video into this area. And this is a landscape video. So now I can select the aspect ratio. I can change it to nine by 16 or one by one. So we can select nine by 16 and then we can analyze the video. Okay. All right, so that's everything I want to share with you in this video. I hope it is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Very All nice, right. right? And now we can export the video, okay? Just click here to export the video to have a 9 by 16 video. And export, and then export. And now it will export right here, not inside Filmora 13. Okay, and this is the exported video, 9 by 16. Alright, so that's everything I want to share with you in this video. I hope it is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. All right, so that's everything I want to share with you in this video. I hope it is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.